So let's take a look now uh, at implementing a listener in code. Now you can do, as you can do with all Android development, you can do it in Eclipse, or you can use the uh, JetBrains IntelliJ IDE. That's the one I actually like to use. They're both free. I just find this one to be a lot easier to work with. But again, just using the Android editor of your choice. Right? So what we'll do here is just implement our own class that will implement, excuse me, implement that location listener. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new class to my project here. Right, I'll just go ahead and call this uh, my location listener. So just say new Java class. As I mentioned, I'll call it my location listener. And what I'll have it do is implement that location listener interface. So we've got that there. Now, of course, the next thing I need to do is add the methods. So let's go ahead and implement those methods. Of course, I need to implement them all. So I've got that there. And one of the things I always like to do with any class when I get started is just start up by putting a log tag in that I'll use for all my log messages. So I'll just declare a field for that. And I'll just call this uh, monitor location as my log tag. All right, so we've gotten that there. Now, one of the things we'll do just to get started here is that, remember, we want to monitor that prop, excuse me, provider enabled and disabled, right? So we'll know that when the user enables or disables a particular provider that we're monitoring. All right, so I'll just put a log message in there. And all I'll do in here is say something like, you know, monitor location. I'll just say a provider enabled. And one of the things you get as an argument to provider enabled and disabled is the name of the provider. Right, so I'll just concatenate that on the end there. So I've got that there. I'll do the same thing on the disabled side. Now, in general, what you're going to want to do here is have your application take the appropriate behavior. Either warn the user that their you know, location-based features are not going to work correctly anymore, or you may want to st stop certain behaviors in your program or so forth. But you do want to be aware of that and keep track of it. Right? So that's the easy part. The thing we'll look at now is the location change. Right? When we actually get information saying our location is something different. Right, so what we'll do here in our case is just go ahead and just kind of log a bunch of stuff on this. Well, the main thing we want to see here is just getting the information out of the location. Right? So we'll just declare a field here first. We'll call it a provider. One of the things every location structure contains is the provider that it came from. Right? So that means if you do have multiple providers going to the same listener instance, that you can know which provider something came from. The other thing you're generally going to do is get the uh, latitude and longitude from it. That's pretty much always something you're going to be looking for from that, right? So we'll do our get latitude. We'll do the same thing for our longitude, right? So we'll just get location, get longitude, get that there. As I mentioned, uh, you, getting accuracy is really important, right? Because as you work across the providers, you'll see that you get huge variations in accuracy, right? Even within the same provider, there are times where GPS can be really, really accurate. And other times where there's obstructions and so forth, it's much less accurate, right? So you always want to look at that. And we're also going to go here and just get the time. Okay, so we've gotten that there. Now, one thing I've done, just to for make things easier, I've got this little class here called Log Helper. And basically, I can pass it in all these pieces, and it's just going to format it up real nice for me. It's going to convert that time value that's a long into a, a format of time with the year, hours, minutes, and seconds in it as well as just kind of lay out into a nice message that I can log here. Right? So we're just using that as a helper. So what I'll do in here is I'll just declare a variable to hold my log message. And I'll just go to the log helper. And I will call my format location info method. And I'm basically going to pass all the fields in. Right? The provider, the latitude, the longitude, the accuracy, and the, and the time. Right, once I have that, I'll just go ahead and write it out to the log window. All right, so that allows me now to have a place to actually receive the location information and actually get the pieces of information outside of that class instance. And again, in this case, I'm just logging it, but this is where you would do your actual work to use that information.